Hey, what's up, guys? Travis Lloyd here at Stonegate uh, with Stonegate Fellowship Worship in Midland, Texas. Um, thank you for watching the last video, if you did. Uh, if you haven't, we kind of just went over some practical things to do before we hit the stage uh, or before we hit the platform, wherever you want to call it, the front of the room leading worship. Uh, things like meditation to get your mind right, prayer, uh, praying with other people especially, and then other things uh, physically involving like stretching, um, getting warmed up, things of that sort. So uh, and we also discuss uh, different types of in-ears uh, as far as custom molds, the benefits, the customs to regular ears. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, practicalities, things like gear. Um, I know every drummer for the most part is, or every musician I know is a massive gearhead. Um, we're gear addicts and uh, I'd rather you be addicted to buying cymbals than buying drugs. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'll go through my preference um, again all this is really personal preference and really most of your drumming career um, if you're just getting started if you're intermediate to advanced professional you know what i'm talking about in the fact that most drumming is trial by fire trial and error you pick up some stuff it don't work you pick up this stuff it does work you're like all right awesome so you move on from there so find what works for you and stick with it. You're going to have people knock you saying, oh, those symbols are way too big. I mean, you're using those for worship. It looks ridiculous. Well, it, it works for me and I get good sound out of them. So it's what I use. Um, but anyway, first I'll, I'll, I'll take you through the sticks that I use and my recommendations as far as stick brands and stick sizes. Um, as far as worship, um, I use anywhere from like a 5A to maybe, maybe a 2B. Um, my stick in particular um, is the Vader Fatback 3A. So uh, I love this stick because it's, uh, it feels long. Um, I, I tend to hold my stick almost halfway, like, you know, I want there to be some balance between my finger and the head of the stick. Um, also, I always use wood tips. That's a, another personal preference thing. Some guys love nylon uh, because of the definition that it gives. Nylon will give you a lot more ping from your ride. It will give you... Uh, a lot more just just clear cut tone through your symbols, but I use a Vader Fatback 3A. Um, the most common stick is the most common stick I've seen anyway. Houston Worship is the Promark 5A. Uh, these are made of Texas. Uh, sorry, um, I'm in Texas, so I've got that pride. But these are made of American hickory wood. Um, Promart makes sticks of all different woods, uh, oak, uh, shirakashi oak, which is an Asian oak that's supposed to be extremely strong. Um, Promark is a good brand. I, I'm not here to plug Vader. I'm not here to plug Vic Firth, uh, Innovative Percussion, any brand. Uh, like I said, whatever works for you works for you. And you'll see here in a second that I, I, I'm not committed to any brand, really. Um, so I, I just pulled both these out of my stick bag. So I keep five A's on me. Um, I like to keep a versatile, uh, toolkit, if you will, of sticks. Um, Vader is what I play normally, the Fatback 3A Vader, when I'm using a, a full kit in a pretty large room. Um, if I'm playing a full kit in a smaller room, I'll probably go down to the 5A and use that one. Um, if I'm playing, um, 
slightly bigger rooms, um, like uh, our camp, again, for instance, um, we play really big rooms. We've got thousands of high school students in there. I still use the same stick, um, the fat back 3A. Also, I like to keep variation in my stick bag as well. Um, and basically, I'm running you through what you, what I think every worship drummer should have in their stick bag. These right here will save your life. The hot rod. The hot rod is in between a brush and a stick. So if you're ever in the instance of, ah, man, I, I'm too loud, I'm overbearing, uh, man, but I have these brushes, man, I can't even hear these brushes. Go with, you know, go with the hot rods. Uh, that's what, that's my trial and error experience. Uh, I was at a camp in Florida and uh, we thought it was going to be a pretty large camp. Um, they ended up having a lot less students than we were told. And we ended up playing the room that was very small. We had no sound shield. Um, I don't think cajones were even invented yet, or they weren't popular at that time. So I had no other means to play rather than to just strip my kit and play pretty much bare. And I used hot rods and it came through fine. Uh, worship went over great. I didn't get to blast out and play hard and, you know, go at it, but, but I was part of something bigger than myself that led people to Christ and it was great to see. Um, also, I do have in here, um, just show you guys real quick. Uh, I use uh, Promark, the, the Nilo brush. Um, I think it's beneficial to have a nylon and a steel brush as well. And, and playing both. Um, I use nylon on my cymbal stick and steel on the snare stick so or on the snare hand um, like i said before nylon cuts through cymbals a lot more it gives it a lot more definition so having a whole nylon brush gives that symbol a lot of definition um steel even more uh so me being a, a pretty heavy drummer the steel gets kind of in the way um, if I'm trying to play super soft, jazzy style, uh, you know, I, I just love these brushes too. The way they feel, steel can get bent. You can have brushes coming off and they look strange. Um, you got them coming off at right angles like that and they wear pretty easily. Um, nylon is flexible. It bounces back and you're good to go. Also, these collapse. Super easy, you're good to go. Steel, the steel ones that I've used over time, they get hard to collapse. Okay, so that sticks as far as my preference and what I use. Oh, and by the way, say hi to Panda. Panda says hi. This is the Panda Studio, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the things you find at church, right? Um, okay, another thing that I do that I think is is taught from some people that I know is to use a bigger stick sometimes than what you normally use. Um, I know for a fact that this is a practice pad exercise. So let's say you use a, a 7A stick normally. That's what you're used to. You love 7As. Um, you would go up to a 5A practice paradiddles, um, rudimentary stuff on a 5A. So when you go back to the 7A, you're like flying. I think that practice can be taken to a kit. So I carry uh, probably two, yeah, I have two pairs of uh, Vic Firth SD1 snare sticks. And I know you're thinking, snare sticks, good God, this guy is beating his drum kit to death. No. It's actually a paradox. It, I mean, it, it flips on itself. 
by using the bigger stick, I become more cautious because I do play hard. And then I have it in the back of my head, I have a bigger stick. So I better tone it down or I'm going to crack every cymbal I'm playing. So in getting that, I take that back to the 3A. I still have the same mindset, but I'm still playing and it, it, it goes over well. It makes sense for me. That's just something I do. Um, the SD1s are extremely light. Most snare sticks are heavy. These are super light. These, in fact, are lighter than my 3A, the Vader Fatback. The Vaders mostly are made of maple. Maple's an extremely heavy wood. Um, not as heavy as oak or bubanga, anything like that, uh, if we're going to get into drum shell talk. Um, so these are made of, um, they call it a rock maple. Um, I don't know what that means. But on Vader, it says like 100% Amer American-made maple. Um, there's really no line around that. I mean, honestly believe that Vader makes their sticks from 100% maple. I might be wrong. There might be some poplar in there, whatever, what have you. But anyway, as far as sticks and practicing, that's how I go about it. Um, I use a, a Fatback 3A uh, or a 5A, and then when I'm practicing, I'll use snare sticks sometimes. Um, so when I go back to my normal stick, I feel like I'm flying. So hopefully this helps someone out there. Um, if you like, hit like below. Uh, if you want to subscribe for more information, the next video will be talking about real life gear. Get ready. Yeah. Say bye, Panda.